Hi, this is a side mirror cover of my car that I cloned from the last project. And some of the audience asked me if he can use the Metro X for scanning this automotive part. Most of automotive part, the plastic one, it's thin and it has no sidewall like this one. So if you want to scan this part by scanning each side separately and then merge it, you are not going to be able to merge it because it has no overlap area. If I scan the front, it's not going to see the back side. See here, if I place it here, it's not going to see any part of the back side. And if I scan the back side, there's some of the front side will be visible. There will be only this part of the wall that is visible on the second scan. So most of the time, I will use a global marker uh, level point metro x also has a global marker so uh, i will use a global marker to scan the marker from one side and then i will slowly uh, turn to the other side so um, there's going to be a transit angle where the scanner can see both of the marker from the back side and the front side at the same time so uh, the scanner should be able to see this marker here and also this marker here on the other side at the same time. So I can transit to the other side and scan all the markers. After all the markers are scanned, I can continue to scan with the cross line or the parallel line laser without merging because the, all the markers are registered and I will get a constant a thickness of the wall and also a precise a location of the clip uh, in relative to the front of the scan okay let's try with the metro x if it can um, do a global marker scan on this part okay here's my uh, setting on a reverse scan 5.6.5 i use uh, gpu acceleration my pc performance is uh, excellent okay let's uh, start the scan with a new project Okay, I will choose uh, global market tracking and then I'm going to create a, a new scan. Okay, I click on automatic export show. Should be working well. All the scanner, all the marker is visible. Okay, I'm scanning the marker on the front side, already finished, right? Now I'm going to move to the other side. I'm going to aim for that. See, um, the marker on the other side is visible, if you can see from the preview window. But it's not tracking. I see five markers on the other side. Let me show you. No, it cannot go across from one side to the other so let me try another angle let me try this angle I go to the other side set tracking loss so it cannot it cannot continue to track the marker from one side to the other. See here? Um, the marker from, from the back side and the front side are all visible, but it cannot, it cannot track to the other side. So, um, Uh, this uh, global marker method for the river point uh, metro X is not working so if you want to be able to scan this part you are going to need to uh, scan it separately and hopefully in the end you'll be able to merge it but i don't think you can merge this part it has no sidewall zero sidewall if you put it on the upright position when you turn from this side to the other it won't be able to track 
because it can't even track with the global market mode so uh, your only way to do this is by scan this side and also the other side separately and then try to merge it okay so we'll cancel this global market mode because it's not tracking and then I will um, go to market tracking mode so I scan the front side first with the cross line um, there used to be a setting for a resolution I don't see it here. If you do something wrong, let me cancel it. Mm, I think there is a setting here that I can choose the, a preview a resolution, but it's not here anymore. Let's um, start the scan. So it's all green, should be enough information for building, point cloud, click on complete. Okay, I make a new scan, this time I flip it to the other side. This time target point distance is suddenly appear, but it wasn't here before, right? Target point distance. I will use the recommend value and the whole idea is 5 mm click on apply so I move to the other part okay uh, now we have to scan the front and the back uh, let's try to merge them okay let's try to merge automatically but I don't think it will work because there's no uh, sharing uh, overlap area at all it's obviously it cannot uh, merge because there's no overlap area so next I'm going to try to do a manual uh, manual merging uh, to do manual merging you need to specify uh, three points uh, because there's no overlap area so I try to click on here one and this would be um, extreme edge here one and two two three three okay so it's um overlap area is less than 10 percent so the software required more than 10 percent of the overlap area as you can see it's, it's no overlap area available let me try this four fail okay let me try um let me try this number five somewhere here fail you need uh, to have a lot of overlap area. My recommendation is 15-20% you know, for the software to work uh, properly. And if you cannot merge it, then you cannot uh, get a complete scan of this. Okay, so for the part like this, um, not for the Metro X, you probably need to um, find other method for scanning this. So to be able to scan this part with the Metro X, I think that you're going to need to make a stand to make this part stand on its own without falling and then you are going to place X node marker around the turntable so when you turn to the other side it can track the marker on the turntable and that is when you can flip to the other side but you're going to need to make a mounting for this part and this mounting has to be erased from the scans and you probably need to make two scans to uh, repair the erased part from the mounting holder uh, so I think that you won't be able to merge these two scan in the vertical direction together okay let me show you how I do this with the uh, Laptor Laptor, Laptor Pro, Laptor X is they have, they have the same uh, depth camera so when you scan a marker in a global marker mode it's gonna give you the same and the performance on the tracking, I choose 0 0.3 for resolution and I click on the global marker. I choose uh, the automatic export show. Okay, so scan 
Um, and I try to turn from one side to the other. Here. Now it's on the other side. You can pause the scan. Take the other side and make a scan. Click scan. So now the markers are already registered, even though the thickness is only 2.5 millimeter, 2.5, 2.7. So now it's all scanned. So what next is that you can continue. Um, to scan without merging. Okay, so because the table is scanned, you're going to need to delete it first before you flip it to the other side because it's gonna block the vision. and click on continue the scanning so it will continue to scan on the other side because the marker is already registered so what i have to do is just um, place the start button This is how I scan a plastic car part, a wind and no sidewall car parts without uh, merging because most of the time you won't be able to merge it. So these two 3D scanners are not the same. Uh, the Matrix cannot scan thin and difficult part with uh, no overlap area mostly fine in the plastic car part while the laptop uh, can track much better uh, with a global marker and it can scan almost anything with less effort so the price for the laptop is not only decreased but it increased I think the price never dropped. The startup price was somewhere around uh, $1,200 US dollar. When I bought the, the first factor uh, last year, it's about this price. And the price never come down. They never give a discount on the product's price. For the Laptop Pro, uh, Laptop Pro was uh, 100 US dollar more expensive than it was uh, initially launched. Uh, this year, early this year, it was uh, 799 US dollar, but now it's 1899. So clearly, they don't uh, reduce the price, the selling price. So the selling price is only going up. So for the Metro X, uh, the price has come down from uh, 1000 US dollar to 849 US dollar now. I, I couldn't remember what's the price for when it's uh, initially launched in the Kickstarter. I hope this will answer uh, many of the questions that you want to know about this two scanner. Okay, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.